Today I wanted to talk about one aspect of collecting and the sports card hobby, and that is opening boxes of cards. The question that many people ask me all the time is, is it worth it? Will I be guaranteed a really good card if I open one? Um, will I be guaranteed that I'll make my money back or make even more money on that? And the uh, short answer to that is there's no guarantee whatsoever. Opening packs of cards, opening a box of cards is a complete gamble. It's fun, it's exciting, the unknown is really cool, but you're not guaranteed anything. Now, the one thing that you may be guaranteed is oftentimes on products, you'll see that maybe it will say you're guaranteed a refractor in there, or um, many times it'll be like two autographs per box, or one autograph and one jersey card per box, things like that. Those you'll have guaranteed. Now, whether it's a star player, a huge rookie, or some nobody, that's, that's the unknown. You don't know. You don't know if it's going to be a card that is, uh, has a huge print run. You don't know if it's going to be a card that's numbered to five, meaning that there's five out there. Um, so opening boxes of cards is a complete gamble. Now, getting your hands on a box of cards around these times is even harder. You see Target shelves cleared out of their retail boxes. You'll see Walmart's cleared out, and they're really expensive online. There was a time where you could buy... So there's a difference... First of all, backtrack real quick. There's two kinds. There's retail and there's hobby. Retail is the stuff that you would find in a Target or a Walmart or what have you. Hobby is what you would find in a sports card shop, more than likely. So hobby is a whole different game, and the best way to find out about that is to, like, if you go to Google... You find a certain product, say, just like Panini Prism, for example. Type in Panini Prism Retail and read about the stuff you can get out of there, and type in Panini Prism Hobby and read about the stuff you can get in there. The Hobby Box will often have more cards in it, um, different cards. The retail will have cards that the Hobby doesn't have, but there might be less packs or less cards in there. The cost will also be less. But right now, so there's a the fact. There's something to know. Um, but right now, all prices across the board are super inflated. Um, so it is even more of a gamble to buy a box of cards nowadays. Um, now, if you are someone that's looking to buy a box of cards, I would do your research thoroughly. Look on eBay, Google the name of the box, research multiple sports card shops, look at blowoutcards.com, do your research, find the best price you can possibly find if you are gonna take that gamble. But as I said before, it is a gamble. There is no guarantee. You might um, lose all of your money. You might break even. You might pull a huge card and make a bunch of money. Like, no one knows. That's the thing about it. Um, so opening boxes, super fun, but a huge gamble at the same time. So be smart. Uh, one of the lessons I learned early on is to not just put a bunch of money in opening boxes. If you're going to open some boxes, maybe put some money into singles that you can flip to along the way and things like that. Um, just make sure that you're not overspending outside of your means, that's all.